have seats. My name is Dr. Birch, and I'm Dr. Woods, and welcome to your mandatory periodic brain check. Now, nothing to worry about, don't need to work up a sweat, we're not out to get you. This is standard procedure, as you know, for officers who are in undercover roles, such as yourself. We really appreciate the work that you do, but we also know that there are risks out there on the street and temptations, and uh, we want to help you and make sure that you get through this very hard job in one piece, okay? Now, if we do spot anything at all, it will have both personal and professional consequences. So, I would urge you to focus and do as well as you can, okay? Good. Now, we'd like to ask you some questions before we get going with the test, just to get a sense of where your head is at, your state of mind. Now, have you been experiencing any language disorientation? Have you had trouble calling people's names or putting names to faces? Those around you, friends, family? And what about your speech? Have you noticed any changing patterns? Have you been slurring your words or perhaps struggling with articulation of any kind or another? Yeah, there are, do you ever have trouble finding the right word or pronouncing the right word? Okay. How about memory loss? Or your memory in general? How's your short-term memory been lately? Do you tend to forget why you left your keys at all? Okay. And what about long-term memory? Have you experienced any holes recently? Something that has been with you for a long time, but you're suddenly finding you have a hard time recalling. Like you have to dredge it up from beyond. Anything like that. Okay then, okay. Uh, let's get to the end, shall we? Good. Now, for this first part of the exam, I'm going to show you some pictures. Now, during the course of this test, we'll be administering several easy tests and really just do your best, okay? We're just trying to help you, okay? Now, like I said, we'll be showing you a few pictures and you know, simply to tell me
this time I'm going to ask you to close this right eye over here, okay? Just like that, good. And now we're gonna hold again two inches up. here, what would you choose that most or best relates to the picture on the right? And what about the picture on the left? Okay, and could you explain why you chose those two words? On the possibility. nerd. 
First, I want you to focus on your right ear. The bright lights in the big city blinded Donna's eyes the first time she saw them. She was just a country girl who was blinded by the light. on the left ear. When, when we went to Grand, Grand Canary, Canary and we were excited wanted to, to see the, the central volcano that erupted in 1645. When did the volcano in Grand Canaria erupt? Okay, now focus on the right ear. My cousin says there's no substance in this choo-choo how much is the new substance selling for? Okay. Now we'll focus on the left ear. Bob has a good job about his job police, police, even when he really wanted to accomplish his job to take care of his family since he was a kid. Okay. What did Bob really want to do? Now focus on both ears at the same time. When, when Fred, Fred fell asleep in his bed, he saw a dream traveling beyond a thousand eyes standing before he ascend from a never-ending list of a hundred thousand years. And how many sins did Fred commit in his entire life? Yes. You're right, that was a, a trick question. Sorry. Oh, shit. 